Hey guys, Master Woodfield here, Peak Performance. Um, so today we're going to talk about a knockout that happened this weekend against Kasanganai and Buckley on UFC Fight Island 5. Um, very interesting knockout. I didn't know either of these guys before they started. We're definitely going to know them after this. So the first couple of rounds, the first round, it was really back and forth. Both of them were throwing. Kasanganai was throwing a lot of kicks to the head and the body. Buckley, not so much which is why this surprised me a little bit. He threw a, maybe a, under 10 kicks throughout the whole two rounds, the round and a half. So it wasn't a lot of kicks by Buckley. So the kick that happened was a jump spinning back kick, which really, if you've done martial arts you, you've done this a lot. And this was a, this was a really cool one, how it, how it happened, because it was more of an accident. Uh, Master Rager, can I use you? All right. So we got Master Rego, he's gonna play Kasang and I, I'm gonna play Buckley. So, as I said, Buckley wasn't throwing a lot of kicks, he was throwing a lot of punches to the dome, and success, Kasang and I was, he was starting to bruise up, I think, on the left side. And so as I'm watching the fight, I'm just noticing like, if the knockout's gonna come, it's gonna come from a punch. So, as I said earlier, as a jump spinning back kick knockout, what happened is, as Buckley threw the kick, the first kick, right? He threw the head kick, it was blocked. But what happened is because he didn't recoil, like he's like, a lot of traditional martial artists would recoil, he did not. He threw the kick and it dropped. And yeah, and um, Simon, I called it. You can see on his face, it's like, I called it, cool. And um, Buckley, without losing a step, jumps in the air, jumps straight back kicks to the face. Now, what the kick was, it was cool, it was a great knockout. But people who do these kicks a lot, it's just another day. What made it interesting though? Either, there's two things that would have stopped this totally, that kick from happening. If he would have stepped in, after he caught the kick, if he would have stepped in, stepped in far, no way, I, no way. If he would have stepped back, no way. What happened is, Kasang and I was so surprised, he threw the head ball, he caught it, Kasang and I, his eyes went and paused. He, he paused there for a second. He stayed in spot and got caught. He just stood there. So to me, that was the more interesting part because he couldn't believe he caught it and he went, and all of a sudden, without skipping a beat, John sent it back kick to the face. Go check it out, it was a super, it was an incredible kick, don't get me wrong. And when he got hit, he was out. He fell backwards and was out. So, a lot of things to take from that. Questions? Good. Awesome. Thank you, Master Rego. I appreciate your help. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.